Would you say you're in the right spot for the right time right what now? What did we get last week? 34? Last week you got a 33. We're, look, we're, I'm, I'm happy to just improve myself. You know, I, I think competition is your worst, like viewing comparison or competition is your worst enemy. You know, I'm, I'm just working harder for myself, you know, and I, I'm thankful for the notes they give. That he's, Bruno is totally right. My legs need to be straighter and I take in, you know, whatever comments they have and I try to improve. But he also did say beautiful, power, and unique. Exactly. And, you know, I, I take, I take, everything that they say and I you know I try to listen and, and make it better and I appreciate all the comments and you know things that they have to say as well but I really I try and you know base how I feel off of you know how we feel like we did and I feel like we really did an awesome job tonight <laughs> I was stoked <laughs> no I know it's been such a long day and, and what I, I really want to touch upon is it's, this is mainly about stop, stop listening to bullies and appreciating who you are and whatnot. And there's a great fan question, and it said, you, you said that you are deserved and loved. And what are your thoughts toward the statement that this journey, partnership, experience can never be taken away from you? What, how does that feel, you know, that validation? Oh, I mean, completely. You know, they, they hit the nail on the head. I think, you know, no one... This is completely my experience, and that was one of the things, you know, our, our package is only like a minute, you know, and 30 seconds, but one of the main things that I was, you know, trying to say as well is that, you know, no one will ever be able to take away from me how I felt, you know, the opening night of the show and how awesome that felt and knowing, you know, just regardless of whatever score I got and being the top of the leaderboard, being able to dance and feel beautiful, like... And, and feel like I earned something, you know, and like that we made something and together that people could see. That was amazing. You say it week in and week out. I've never, I've talked to many people over the seasons and I've never met someone so present. <laughs> Thank uh, you. And I think that's probably what the magic that you guys bring this season. Absolutely. But I know this guy, he's, he's been trying to read my notes because we have yeah, some special like. questions for Val today. Ooh. And this is from third grader Jose Ramos Quintieros uh -huh. from Dundalk Elementary in Baltimore, Maryland. And he, I got to preface this with, I am interviewing the amazing Val. He's an amazing dancer. He is just amazing. He has an amazing, he is most importantly, he's positive. So with that said, here come his questions. Okay. If you're ready. Amazing. Yes. Thanks, Jose. <laughs> Were you ever afraid of something? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still afraid of things, but yeah, growing up I had a lot of fears. How did you overcome them? Uh, by attempting them, by politicking my way out of them, or just settling on the fact that that's just something that I'm not going to do in my life. <laughs> it okay. just depends. Listen, I'm terrified of heights. You know? Really? So yeah. We're gonna go skydiving, so right? every opportunity, safe opportunity, I have to kind of conquer that fear, or at least tease that fear a little bit. If I know I'm in a safe environment, I do that. You know, I kind of test myself to a degree. Uh, but heights are just, a, uh, you know, just a small example. Like, you know, I have stage fright. I have. I'm still like. Really? There. Yeah, of course. I I had stage fright as a kid. Or I didn't, then I did, then I didn't again, uh, but still, you know, going out there live television is very nerve-wracking. I just, you know, the more things you try, the more experiences you have, the less fearful you're going to be of anything because you're living your life and, and you're looking back on a track record that says you can do it. And if you have that track record because you've attempted things and you failed at things, but at least you tried, you're, you're going to gain, inevitably, you're going to gain confidence in yourself. Absolutely. Now, with that said, I know you guys got to run. What are you guys dancing next week? Oh, uh, we're dancing the tango. Ooh, and... Mm -hmm. We're you doing Little Mermaid. Oh, get out! Yeah, really? But, yeah, but we're not either the either one of the characters you think we are so okay. it's going to be a very interesting we'll, we'll let you guys stew on that so we got to let him go so on the count of three you want to buzz him later yes please right. can I buzz you later yes. please yes. ready one two three buzz you later he said it